What's up guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile Zombies video. Today we talk perks and buffs. There are seven different perks and six buffs in the game. You can only have three buffs at once, but you can buy all the perks in the game. Now, of course, you cannot buy everything at the start of the game. You'll have to make important decisions at the start. What are you going to do with your points? What's the most important early game? In what order should you buy stuff? Uh, because of course you want to spin the mystery box, you want to get good weapons, you want to buy perks, you want to get upgrades to your buffs, but you cannot do everything at once. So that's what we do in today's video. I'm going to give you guys my top priority for what you should do at the start and what can wait for later. Now let's start with the first perk, it's the quick revive. It's always there in the starting area, it costs 500 points and I buy it every game. What it does in COD Mobile Zombies is it gives you an extra free revive. So usually you have three free revive tokens. This one's going to give you a fourth one. And after that, it's going to start using your own tokens that are not free. You have to get them in crates. So uh, in other games, what it does is when you play solo, if you die, the game is over. But if you have quick revive, you can revive yourself. Well, in COD Mobile, it's different. Also, in other games, when you play with squads, you revive your teammates faster. Now, I didn't test it in COD Mobile uh, Zombies, so leave a comment below. Does it work like that in team? Because I mostly play solo. So anyways, I always buy it at the start. It's cheap. You can afford it. And what I do on round three is I waste all my pistol ammo to get as many points as possible. And I will go downstairs and I will use the mystery box twice just to get two different weapons. And it's going to be good enough to survive at least to round 6 or 7. Because the zombies are not really, really strong uh, before round 8, 9. Now, once you have two decent weapons, it's time to hunt for perks. So usually I repair the elevator. There are two perks uh, in the bottom area or the secret underground lab. And they will be random. You're looking for Juggernog. If Juggernog is not in the secret underground area, you'll have to look for the rest of the map. But you have to pay to open doors and go look for it. Now this is Juggernog. It's the most important perk in the game. In all Call of Duty Zombies games. It's usually in other games it doubles your HP. So instead of going down with two taps. You can take four hits before going down. Now I didn't test uh, the number of hits and cut mobile zombies. But what it does basically is it increase your HP. And survivability is the one, the single most important thing in this game because when you go higher rounds you're gonna start rotating and it's inevitable that you will take hits you will get hit by the zombies as you circle around them and you want to be able to like recover and you're gonna take more taps before you recover it takes five seconds to recover from a hit that's what they say in the game description so yeah you need hp because you don't want to go down early because of stupid mistakes you don't want to waste your tokens early now, once you have two decent weapons, you have Juggernog, it's time to get some buffs. Now, the best buffs are the extra HP and the extra damage. Attack and weakness will give you 10% increased damage. Now, the one at the bottom called Breakthrough, it will increase your HP by 10%. And as you upgrade it, it's going to go 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. Same thing for the damage buff. It's going to increase when you upgrade it. So you can go up to 50% at level 5. And guys, there's more to it. Once your three buffs are increased to level 5, you can click on the fourth slot. It's gonna randomly upgrade one of your three buffs. And all of them can go up to level 10. So it's gonna be 100% extra damage, 100% extra HP. Now for buff number 3, a lot of people will have different opinions. But my number 3 is up and up. It's gonna increase the damage dealt by 6% for 3 seconds right after killing an enemy and the effect will stack up to 3 times. So it means when you kill something, for a few seconds we'll have extra damage. You kill something else, it stacks again and it stacks again. So you can get 3 times 6%, 18% extra damage. And when you upgrade it, the duration increase and the stacks increase. So here you see a level 10 up and up is going to increase by 24% damage for 10 seconds and it can stack up to 5 times. So if you use the ray gun and you kill many enemies at the same time, it's going to stack, stack, stack and you're going to deal like 125% extra damage for 10 seconds. So more zombies will spawn, you'll kill more zombies. So it's very, very strong in my opinion. But again, depends what weapons you use, depends on your playstyle. 
It's not gonna be really good for the boss fight in raid, but in survival it's really good. So anyways, early game usually I go like that, I go quick revive, I get two decent weapons, then I go for juggernaut, and then I'll start using some buffs, like level 1, level 2 buffs, and then it's up to you, you can go for, for perks, but my number 3 perk would be the reload speed cola. Uh, it's really good, you can see the difference, the reload speed without speed cola and with speed cola. Look at the reload speed, it's really really fast and like in survival mode depending on the weapons you use especially lmgs they're so long to reload uh but it's never bad it's never a bad thing to have extra reload speed it doesn't matter the weapon you use really uh speed cooler is probably the the number three best perk in the game but that's pretty much what you do between rounds you upgrade your buffs you go buy more perks depending on your personal preference and depending on the mode also but my number four best perk is that one, guys. It's stamina. It's going to increase your sprint speed and movement speed or mobility in this game is very, very important. It doesn't matter if you play survival or raids, but in raids, it's definitely going to help on the boss fights to be able to sprint faster and longer. Uh, in survival also to get from a point to another to escape zombies in tough situations, mobility, movement speed is really good. Now the next best perk would be the double tap root beer. It's going to increase your fire rate, but basically what it does is it's not the fire rate that increases, it's just it's going to shoot two bullets at a time and you can see uh, in the video uh, before and after it really shoots two bullets at a time. It doesn't work on the ray gun or wonder weapons I think, but it, on normal weapon it's going to shoot two bullets at a time. Uh, it's not going to do extra damage like in other games, it would double your damage I think. Uh, in this one, it just shoots faster, shoot more bullets faster. Now, some guys have different opinion on that one. They say if your weapon already has a very fast fire rate, uh, it's not that good to have double tap. Now, on slow fire rate weapons, it's just going to make them much better. Personally, I think double tap is really good for the boss fight, especially it's got great synergy with the wonder weapon, the lava HG40 if you have it. Because your mags seem to be infinite, kind of. Sometimes when you hit the head, it's just going to keep getting bullets and bullets. And you can fire a lot. So if you have double tap, you're going to deal a lot of damage really fast. Now the last two perks are not bad, but they're not necessarily needed. So you can go for them if you have the extra money. If you go for long rounds of survival. But in raids where your money is limited and you rather go for the mystery box or upgrade your perks... Well, Electric Cherry is there. It's maybe better for survival, not needed in raid. But what it does is when you reload, not 100% of the time, but it has a chance to do an electric wave and it's going to stun the surrounding enemies. You're going to see it in the video. But when you reload, it's going to flash and the zombie will be stunned for a, a short moment. So like I say, it's better in survival because you have a lot more time. You have a lot more money uh, to spend and you're gonna go for all the perks but in raids uh priority is have better weapons and max out your your buffs before you go for something like that in my opinion but it's personal i know some guys really like it now the last perk i put at the bottom of the list number seven i never buy it um maybe sometimes if you go for long long survival but it's daikiri deadshot so what it does is gonna it really increase your aim assist it's just gonna keep moving your crosshair to the head of the zombies even if you try to go away it's gonna bring it back to the heads so it's easy headshots but it's not needed you can get easy headshots by just aiming at the head and sometimes it's just straight up annoying like you want to shoot at a zombie but the crosshair is going for another head instead so i really don't like it but i've seen tons of comments in my youtube videos say use dead shot is the best perk in the game well, not everyone agrees. To me, it's the like worst perk in the game. It's the bottom of the list. I pretty much never buy it for raids. Uh, and yeah, in long survivals, I just buy everything because I can't afford. But I would do a lot of things with my money instead of buying that. Definitely look for better weapons. Definitely max out all your buffs before going for Daikiri Deadshot. That was it for today's video guys, full list of all 7 perks, what they do, and the order of importance in my opinion. Also my 3 favorite buffs in the game that I'll always buy in every game I play, 
once again the extra damage the extra hp and then up and up it's gonna stack extra damage when you get kills and it's gonna increase and increase again now leave me a comment below what is your order if it's different than mine and what are your favorite buffs i'm curious if some guys out there use different buffs than what i use so thank you guys so much for watching hope this guide was helpful leave a like and once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more call of duty mobile videos i will be back soon till then watch my other stuff take care